Wyoming is a very curious place when it comes to historical anomalies. It is particularly rich with peculiar oparts. The rock art that spans many millennia of man's history, handprints seemingly melted into the solid stone within the white rocks of White Mountain, or indeed, the falling block. Although the name would suggest that this block is in a precarious position, it is in fact unliberated from the bedrock. Unquestionably reminiscent of the countless abruptly abandoned mines and quarries places such as Aswan in Egypt, Yangshan in China, Easter Island's El Gigante, and so on. Regardless, it is hastily dismissed as a geological formation. Its compelling characteristics, however, cannot be denied. Its unnatural shape, its level top, its out-of-place appearance, as if placed there or as if it had fallen from the sky. Not to mention the curious symmetrical patterning on certain sides, the same possible tool marks we have previously identified on stones. Within such gigantic megalithic sites as that of Gornea Shoria, another site littered with similarly sized blocks, that are also argued as natural, yet the artificial characteristics present at the site would make this explanation unlikely. Located in the eastern part of the Bighorn, in a plateau northwest of the dihedral's wall, predictably little official study has been published in regard to the falling rock, although it is well known within rock climbing circles, indeed due to its symmetrical and seemingly worked shape, making it great for practice before taking on the bigger climbs. If such an object were to be located upon the surface of Mars, for example, it would undoubtedly create a flurry of interest due to its clearly artificial-esque form, yet because it is on Earth, and the truth of our past has been lost or worst hidden, it is simply ignored in favor of a more digestible and easier explanation. A dismissal of other possibilities, most probably made without any in-depth study being done on the area in line with such a hypothesis. It simply does not give one a sense of authority to say that they do not know. Additionally, during our research, we stumbled upon the medicine wheel, formerly known as the Bighorn Medicine Wheel. Paradoxically, it is argued as an indigenous artifact, this regardless of the open fact that no indigenous people have publicly claimed to have built the Bighorn Medicine Wheel. During negotiations to include the Bighorn Medicine Wheel to the Registry for National Historic Landmark and Sacred Site status, the Crow indicated that the wheel was already present when they came into the area. What do you feel about the peculiarities within Wyoming? Do you believe some were left by a lost civilization, particularly the falling rock? We find the falling rock, and indeed the history within Wyoming as a whole, highly compelling.